Hi, this is Corey, and here's another Navisworks training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Find Items tab and then the types of sets that we have. And when we say sets, we have two different types. We have selection sets and search sets. So, Navisworks is a way that we bring models together. And we have access to the geometry information, but we also have access to the data um, underlying that information. The I and BIM, as it were, <laughs> to do some popular buzz buzzwords. So the points that we're going to cover here is the basic concept of selection sets, up how, how we update those sets, the find items tab, um, going through search sets, and then how we can do some additional things with these search sets. Now, you can use Navisworks without ever even opening up this sets tab, but I will say that it is a powerful thing that I use in my workflows and recommend that if you are spending some considerable time in Navisworks that you get familiar with how to use them and create them. So, you know, a as always, if you're looking to, to find a new window, you can go to your View ribbon, switch over to the View, Windows, and you can find your Sets section. So, the idea with, with Sets is that if I was to go for my training model here and I click on an item, I hold control, and I'm just going to select a few different objects here. It says I have six items selected. If I wanted to make that as a group, right, I can come down to the set section and say save that selection. Random assortment. So now if I click off of that, I can at any time. <laughs> Got to love 2013. If I uh, if I if I re-click on that set, it's going to grab each of these six items. Now, the documentation is a bit nebulous on how exactly that selection process works. Um, it's based on some unique element identifier, and I honestly don't know what that identifier is. If it's element ID, if it's unique ID, if it's a piece marker from a various CAD platform. That's something Navisworks has figured out, um, and it tends to work, <laughs> tends to work, um, given the same uh, model geometry. Now where that becomes an issue is when you have something getting updated week after week. Um, so what, in that process, if you wanted to keep a selection set updated, you would have to do this updating sets component. So if I wanted to add this wall and say that floor slab to this, now I have these eight objects selected. What I can come in here and do is say right click and update, and now every time that I click on this it's going to select those eight objects instead of the six. Um, I'm going to go through some, in some other videos I'll be talking about how I use this selection set when I am working in Clash Detective. So beyond just selection sets, what we have, which is um, more powerful, is the find items. It's find items and search sets. So as we say that Navisworks is an aggregation of not just the 3D geometry, but also the model information. So what I'm, what I'm trying to show in these videos is not this is how you do X specific task. In Navisworks, you're looking to accomplish a goal, and Navisworks does provide some tools um, by which you can achieve that goal, the find items being one. So I want to show some of the big theoretical concepts with a few specific examples. So my goal is I want to create a search set that is going to find all of the trees in my project. Okay, so if we, if we deconstruct this process, we have to think what makes something a tree. Well, we know, we're people, so we can just identify that, hey, that's a tree, right there. And then this is a tree, right here. Um, now, what I can't do in Navisworks is make a search set that says things that look like trees. I click on that, that's not going to work. The computer doesn't understand that. I could tell a person, hey, find me all the things that look like trees, but I have to put this in computer language. So, what we do we click on these objects and then I'm going to look in two locations to find out what makes this tree a tree. I can, I can look one in the selection tree and two I can look in the property section. 
So based on this selection tree, it looks like it's using the Latin name of this tree, <laughs> which I do not know what that means. I am not a botanist. So I come up here. This really doesn't tell me it's a tree necessarily. I could type in all the Latin names. That's not going to work. Um, and so as I clicked on this tree, it goes to this level in the object level. And I see hmm, it's not in the item, it's not in the element tab. Well, maybe plant name. That could be something, something positive. I don't like that one. I'm going to go up a level here. And there I see this is in the item type tree of deciduous planting. Alright, so this, I, I'm not saying that this is always going to be the place where you go to find trees in Navisworks. That's not what this lesson's about. This lesson is to find where can we find the information that makes something unique to identify it. So what I'm going to do is look for objects with the item type of tree. That's, that's what I'm going to be looking for. Now in this find items dialog box, and again we can always get to that by going to the view ribbon, windows, find items. I can search within one of our specific models. So architectural columns, for instance, versus structural columns. Um, so if I select here, and, and I, again, I can break out to any level in here. That If I was searching here, it would only be look, looking for items hosted on the first floor. Um, and I also have all the other uh, tabs that are available in the selection tree and Clash Detective. If I, if I click off in white space with my left mouse button, I'm not selecting anything, and if I'm not selecting anything, it's actually selecting everything. So, just come over here and delete all of our conditions. And I'm not going to be looking in any specific model at this point for this example. So once we've seen the property that we're looking for, in this case we're looking in the item tab for the type that, um, not anything that's the full name, but where tree is at least contained within that type. So the way that works, we select from the drop down list, or we can do something else that I'll show you next. Um, the item type, click here, contains, I'm going to go capital tree. Doing that because I want to do the match case. So once I hit find all, each of these trees gets selected. Fantastic. So I right click down here in search and hit save search. These are my trees. Now, I was also looking around and I saw that we have shrubs here. And so I can change this thing to, if I wanted to redo this thing, and I'll show you the, some of the fast ways that I do this. Once I click on this category, I type the letter I to go to item, enter, goes over to the next, uh, the next field, T for type, the condition C for contains, and there I'm going to type shrub. I hit find all and that's going to grab all four of those little shrubs. So right click, save search, those are my shrubs. Okay, so we made some search sets. Now let's say that I wanted to add secondary criteria, that I wanted to say I want to find um, of the trees, the ones that are deciduous. Now, you know, deciduous trees are the ones that lose their leaves in the fall, right? And the conifers are the ones that are evergreens. Just to throw a little bit of biology lesson into this year, Navis Works talk. <coughs> so I can see that within this item type, um, it contains tree and the the word deciduous. So I can say the item type contains decid and let's say I don't even want to spell the whole word, I'll just say decid you and I'm not going to match case this time. I hit find all this. You never know, maybe I messed this up. Oh, <laughs> because this has to be shrub. So tree. There we go. So that's gonna find these two. These two trees is going to leave out that one. 
because by default when we put in multiple conditions it's saying you have to find this and this next one so I'm going to save the search as deciduous trees lovely lovely now what we can also do is control click multiple ones of these and that will add the building block if you see here if I click on trees this search is instantiated here in the find items command if I click on deciduous trees this search got uh, remembered so if I click on shrubs and I hold control and I go to trees what that does is combines both of them together now remember I said that if you have two lines that means that both constraints have to be satisfied in order for an object to be selected so if I said item type contains shrub uncheck this match case and hit find all no objects are found because in this Revit model you can't have an object that is both a tree and a shrub it can only be one or the other so the way we do that is to right click and say make this an or condition and that's what you get by this plus so now when I hit find all I get all seven of these things selected and I could have done that the exact same way by doing clicking on shrub hitting control click on trees and then if I wanted to save that search click on the binoculars trees and shrubs digging it okay um, important thing to note that this only works when you have you are searching within that same selection so if I was looking in my structure for instance for uh, I'm going to look for column so within structure I want my item type to contain column undo this match case find all these columns excellent save search columns so notice I'm just flipping back through all these things and here if I was to do control click on shrubs it's not going to add it up here it will select everything it'll select both my shrubs and the columns but the find items tab gets confused because in this one I said look within the structure and in this one look within everything so it, Navisworks gets a little bit confused just something to keep in mind okay so we've gone over selection sets updating sets the find items tab search sets using search sets as building blocks and then finally what we can do is convert this as a static object so at this point what I've done is selected two search sets and now what I can do is say save that selection so that's shrubs and columns <coughs> at this point I can save this as an instance and now it's not going back to the search set this can be handy for is if one week you find some things and you want to just hide it at that point in time so say last week I found found all my VAVs um, and so I took a snapshot of it in time with that particular search with that with a set with a s uh, <laughs> selection set there we go and this this next week um, additional VAVs got added um, what I can do is compare what was in that search set to the selection set to see uh, which ones got added or moved, changed, anything like that. So, hope that gives a better understanding about uh, search sets, selection sets, find items, and the power of utilizing the information that we have access to in Navisworks. Thanks and good luck.